you guys. It's Theresa. How are you? Sorry, I got the sun blaring right on me. Um, I am going to attempt to come back on my weekly um, videos. Today is January the 29th, 2014. And um, I haven't done a video, a weekly video in a while. I had thought about, uh, I think the last kind of update video I posted was a week or a monthly one. Obviously my monthly ones aren't working out. Um, it seems like when I was in my first 12 months of my journey, which started, uh, for those that are new or, you know, or forgotten about me, <laughs> um, I had, um, I've had since on a, I'm sorry, July 18th, 2012. I had lap band with plication surgery, and um, I started out at 227 pounds, and I got down to, right around my surgery date in July, I got down to 166. That was my lowest weight that I had seen, and um, since that, it seems like whenever I got to my one year, I was doing awesome with my weekly. I never, unless I missed a day, but I didn't miss my weekly update videos. And it was a great accountability for me. But um, it's like I hit that. I, I'm with, I'm like that with one year, it looks like. Uh, I, I have a one year threshold. <laughs> um, so when I hit that one year mark, it's like I let go of a lot of things. I um, stopped doing my weekly videos, and uh, I kind of started seeing, looking back at when my weight started creeping back up again, was after I, quitted my, I quit my uh, weekly videos, my accountability to myself and to you guys, which is there for, for myself, um, and I kind of just like relaxed after that, and yeah. When you do that and you're not on top of it, especially I hadn't even gotten to goal yet. Um, I I don't even know what is that I had lost um, at that point. I was 166 and I felt great and everything. And then I ended up um, at Christmas is whenever, kind of the end of the year, assessing what I'd done for the last five months since July through Christmas through the end of December. I had put on 15 pounds. I had a 15 pound regain. And, uh, yeah, I slacked off on a lot of things. And so January 1st, I did try, not try, I have, um, gotten back, um, tracking my food and doing better, but I'm still not perfect. I mean, I don't know. And I wonder if I'm ever going to be not perfect, but I want to be back to where I was right after post-op, you know, um, but I'm 18 months out now. And, uh, but I wanted to let you know that starting today, I am going to, uh, start my weekly videos again so I can be accountable to myself, document this and be accountable to you, you know, who you are there supporting me. And I will be on YouTube also more often. I watch videos when I'm in the car coming to and from work, mainly when I go home at night. But I don't, I haven't been watching videos. I haven't been able to uh, comment because the only time I watch is when I'm driving. So I don't comment um, on videos. And I really should. And I want to. I've got so much to, I want to cheer everyone on, you know. But um, I, I need to get back into how I was... Um, right after my surgery and and um because yeah I've gained that weight back I've lost about three pounds of it since this month so here it is already the end of January and a month has gone by and I've lost three pounds so that's better than nothing right um and yesterday I have to I have to update you on a couple big things well let, let me start with um um, last week I found out that, um, my friend that was suffering, um, with diabetes is one, when, okay, wait, let me, let me see, let me go back. Um, from my marathon, whenever Monica and I did our marathon, half marathon back in April of last year, and then even before I dedicated April's race to her. And to my mother, because they both uh, have 
diabetes, and my mother died from diabetic com diabetic complications, renal failure, and then um, Elaine uh, had already um, had lost her one leg and was blind from it. And I was diagnosed with diabetes 10, 11 years ago after my mother had died. Um, so, you know, it's something that I, I dedicated that run to them, and I've my mother and Elaine were the reason, also going back, were the reason that really boosted me into having this surgery and doing something drastic to help save my life. Because I was so mad. The day that I finally decided to do it, I was so angry with diabetes because it took my friend, and this she was in her 60s, at the time she was in her early 60s, it's uh, my dad's best friend's wife. And she had just lost her leg because of the diabetes after already being blinded. I was very mad. I was just angry and like wanting to kick diabetes' ass. I didn't want it to take me because it's already taken my mother and it took Elaine and her leg. Well, last week it took Elaine. Um, so she, she passed away last week um, when they were in the middle of surgery of removing her other leg. And God bless her soul. She's just the, she was the, a great Christian lady. I know that she and my mother are together in heaven. Um, so, you know, I just hated the fact that they both lost their lives at such, that lost their human bodies at such an early age when we all still wanted them and needed them here, you know. And But um, I know they're both watching over and they're, you know, I feel comfort knowing where they're at now. But anyway, um so, yeah, Elaine passed away last week um, of a massive heart attack while they were uh, amputating her other leg, her second leg. And she's also been going through uh, dialysis for her kidney failure for the last year. So, surprisingly, she survived that long. But anyway, um, so that really hit me hard again. Um, my diabetes has been under control since my surgery. So, that's kind of the background. Sorry, I'm babbling. Uh, this is probably be a long video. Sorry. Um, but she and my mother were the reasons why I'm on this journey, were the beginnings of it, and to stay strong. And I'm going to continue now that she's even gone, and they're both watching over me now, that I'm staying strong with this. Um, but my blood sugars are good. My A1Cs have been good. My diabetes has been very well under control. Monica and I are, uh, we are running and um, working up our miles for our, our uh, next half marathon in uh, April this year. So that's all well. Um, so another thing that happened um, yesterday, actually, I had a an appointment with my PA, which um, I've never seen. Since my surgery, I've never seen my surgeon. He just did the surgery, and he was done with me. Um, so the PA is the one that's been doing my fills and checking up on me and stuff. Well, I hadn't been in, and that's another thing, uh, looking back, that's another thing back in July was the last time I had been in to see them. So see, is it like at one year, everything stopped. I, I, I saw my, after I saw for my last visit with them, I was disappointed because the visit, the visit wasn't good. I didn't like their new offices they moved into. They were very, it's just a long story, but I wasn't happy with my PA and the offices and the P I just wasn't happy with the whole situation. And then they were also, uh, raising their prices on doing a fluoroscope and the fill and everything to $225. And I'm a self pay and that, you know, they basically doubled their cost on me and you know, that just, it was disheartening. So all along uh, my fill has been fine. I've had restriction, but there are times when I'm wondering if I've, um, and she did tell me one time that I had stretched my pouch some. So I'd done some, you know, trying to do the five-day pouch test, drink it back, and do liquids, try to shrink things back, and trying to take care of it. But I finally made myself an appointment to, and built up the money and the, the courage or the, I don't know what it was, to go back in. So I had an appointment yesterday for my fill. Well, I got in there, and uh, same story, same disappointment, and so I sat there for 30 minutes watching people go in or not. People were getting frustrated because they were waiting so long. A lot of different, a lot of the same uh, frustrations that I had in the last time, but what was written in red ink on my piece of paper in front of me that was waiting for just, I hadn't even seen the nurse yet to have my vitals taken and my weight taken because I knew after that I'd be waiting another 30 minutes. 
but it was in red ink, was $225 that they're going to charge me. And I'm like, you know, they're not going to get my hard-earned money. <laughs> and I got up, and I just handed the paperwork back to the receptionist, and I said, delete my file, close my file, I'm done. And I walked out, and I and they were in shock, but I hadn't heard nothing from them. Their, their customer service and the aftercare was very poor. And I've been very disheartened over my decision to have this uh, lap band surgery and wondering and asking myself, is this something that I shouldn't have, should have gotten the VSG or, you know, not the gastric, but I wanted to, uh, VSG was my second choice. Because the aftercare to me has sucked, but I'm back I, and I'm glad I did what I did. I'm glad I had the surgery that I've had. And if I hadn't have had this surgery, I wouldn't have met the people that I have and made friends with. Monica and I probably wouldn't have been as friends like we're new, we are now. So anyway, I'm just babbling, but I'm getting it all out. <laughs> um, so I've had so much, you know, and I deal with, um, I deal with depression. I take medication for uh, depression and um, I don't want to increase the dose or anything. I just pray and try to get through things, but I'm in a slump right now. And so I'm trying hard not to get back into it and it's easy to. Um, a lot of that last six months has been the eating that I've done to gain that weight has been partly to due to depression. So anyway, you know, there's just a million things and I'm, but I want to be accountable to you guys. I want to be accountable to myself and get back into my weekly updates. Um, this morning I get, I weighed in at 178.4. So, um, I'm back weekly. Um, I look forward to hearing from you and, um, you know, and, leaning on you guys for support and I'm going to be there for you and I've kind of been there in the background on um you know Facebook but at least on on a YouTube here I want to uh, at least start showing my face a little bit more and showing you that I'm showing myself you know my dedication so I want to be back to where I was I want to lose this weight again I, I you know my, I want to get back down to that 166 I was just about Weighing less than my husband, Ugh, which makes me angry that I gained some weight back. So anyway, it's a, it's a start. Um, I've lost, you know, this month. I haven't had any gains this month, so it's all good. I'll um, check back in with you next week, and hopefully I'm already going on close to 13 minutes. Thank you for, for watching, and um, love you guys. I really do. I really have so many friends here, and you guys are just awesome. Um, I've been thinking a lot about Janine too. So Janine, I'm praying for you, girl, I'm praying for Wendy, her mom. I know they're, you know, there's just so much that I've been praying for, for all of us. Cause we need it. We need prayer these days. It's tough. So, and then G, um, I haven't talked to you much and I uh, haven't, um, I haven't seen any lately, latest pictures since you've had your surgery, your, um, surgery back in December, so, um, your DS, so, I want to see some pictures of you, but we'll talk, love you guys, and I'll talk to you next week, take care, God bless.